Hi and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Michael Melo, and in this tutorial, I want to show you uh, the new wireframe shader. Um, I'm sure somewhere out there is someone who has a use for this, so here's a tutorial for this. Okay, just delete the default cube as always. Um, then add just the monkey. So then and rotate on um, the x-axis by 45 degrees minus. Okay, and scale it up a little bit. Camera view. Okay, that's fine. And then just jump into the node editor. Just split your screen. Choose node editor. Choose material. And let's add a new material at first and zoom in a little bit and there we have a diffuse node and if we just add here the input wireframe you can find it in input wireframe uh, you can see it provides a size and a factor we need in this case we need um, something with a factor on it and the easiest one is a mix shader and just add it here and connect the factor to the factor of the mix shader. And if you now go into the render view, you can see uh, it produces black lines. Um, they are triangled and that's because the wireframe shader supports only uh, triangles right now and I'm sure they will improve that. Uh, if you want to change the color of the wires just go in there and add, let's say, an emission and connect the emission to the lowest socket here and we have white lines which are emitting light. can change the color here, let's put the green and just this here, a really ugly composition and yeah that's it, that's the wireframe shader. You can change the size of the lines here or you can just go in here and say okay this pixel size um, or you just crank this guy here a little bit up 0 0.02 maybe, okay that's better. Okay that's it and I hope you liked this tutorial and goodbye.